YouTube. This is a little review of a guitar that I'm, I'm just going to sell it because I have to because I'm totally skint. So this is a Cruiser by Crafter. And the model number is, it's an RX700. And it's, this, this colour's called the Lunar Metal. Uh, just a little bit of a hint towards the BC Rich there. Just for reference. The BC Rich Rockingbird. It's not quite, it's kind of maybe a bit between a, a few different models. I figured that bit there looked quite mockingbirdy. Right, but this is a, a cruiser. Right, just run through it quickly. So, um, oh, where do we start? Right, I, I bought this in very cheap because it had no parts. It was basically just the body and the neck, but I thought it's a cool looking guitar. Well, and, and the truss rod cover. But none of the... So I had to replace the pickups, the bridge, the tailpiece, the controls, the output, the tuners, the nut, uh, the strap buttons, the truss rod cover was already there. That, so that's kind of it. Uh, the tuners I put on it, because it's a funny sort of four and two thing that you get on a uh, music man's, you'll notice that I couldn't actually find in my parts box six identical tuners, are these, so these two are slightly different. I actually see if you peeled a wee bit of plastic off the back of them, they would look much more similar, but they're just, you know, they're just not quite exactly the same. So those four are the same, from the same set, and those two aren't. And also, I'm just being really picky here, but uh, I had to I put washers behind these two, because I couldn't find them either, so they're just B&Q washers, which uh, maybe aren't, they're not as shiny as the other ones, but it doesn't make any difference to how they work. My game here was I was going to sell, uh, buy some guitars that were needing fixed up, so sort of cheapy ones. Do them up and sell them for Christmas, but um, that's really next month I should be doing that. But I'm skint just now, so I need to get rid, need to get rid of this one. It's the first one I've fixed up. Um, the neck is a BC Rich from a BC Rich Platinum Series guitar that I bought years ago in a big box of pickups. No, so that's a BC, actual BC Rich. You actually see it still says BC Rich on it, just it's kind of worn off. The, net, the bridge pickup is, uh, I'm not, it came from the same box of pickups, but I'm not sure what it is. It's not branded, but you'll hear it when I turn it on. It's the right pickup for here. The bridge, um, another bit I missed out. See the the posts? They're silver. Like the actual posts the bridge is sitting on. And the black, the bridge is black. The bridge is from a Dean Baby ML, which I turned into a Flying V and ditched the bridge. So that's where that's from. The tailpiece was gold and I spray painted it black. It's from a 1970s Grant Japanese Les Paul. The volume and tone control are brand new and as, as is the switch and the output jack. Uh, I had There was no back plate on it so I made one out of a record. You says in there, obviously it doesn't, it's just to stop you duck getting into the wires. You can see it's an album. But it's quite good, I'm getting quite good at doing that. I think it's quite a good idea. Because quite a lot of guitars you get and it's not a, a set size, you know, if it's like, maybe okay if you've got a Fender Strat, you could probably buy a Fender part, but if it's any other make. Um, yeah, so, very BC Rich-ish type neck, has to be said. Uh, I would, this is better than the Bronze Series Warlock. I've had a couple of Bronze Series Warlocks. It's a better guitar. I'm not quite so sold on the, it's a wee bit, it wants to sit horizontally. Which is annoying. If I if this was if I was keeping this, I'd probably move that strap button to on the back of. I I drill it through into the neck plate. If you want me to do that, I could do that actually. If you could buy it, um, I had to do exactly the same thing with the BC Rich. So there's there's where the strap button was, and that's where I moved it to, and it made such a difference. But then again, if you're going to play sitting down, or maybe you don't like it sitting at a, an angle like that, like I do. Yeah. So bridge pickup.
yeah, maybe I'm not playing it perfectly. <laughs> As I said, I've put in, I've, I've wired it up in a crazy way. Well, not crazy, but so that's the bridge pickup. And then sometimes we get like uh, these guitars because the pickups are both very similar. They both sound the same. But as this one goes from bridge to a BC bridge pickup. I'm normally a, a bit of a switch king. I've normally got lots of most of the guitars I've got. I've got lots of options in them. Uh, in the middle position, I flipped this pickup round the wrong way. So instead of being both pickups on together, it's got them both in out of phase with each other, which gives you so you get your treble pickup, your neck pickup, and then an out of phase in the middle, which is really sort of thin and funky. Morning, so they're, they're, they're bending in a little bit. Not all bad. There you go, it's a culprit. It's quite difficult to use to having four on the top, but it's, it's not really that difficult. You said shit. <laughs> Trust it, really. Yeah, so if you're buying this as a beginner's guitar, then it's fine. It's like it's nice, low action, all the way up the neck. No dead frets, virtually no fret wear on it either. I can't, the guy who I bought it off and who instantly had uh, metal bits all through his face, uh, it was just, as I said, it was just the body and the neck that I bought, and he said that uh, his pal had taken all the, all the hardware off it for another project. And it's like, I don't know how good the hardware on this guitar would have been. I think they're maybe, a, I don't think they're, they're not as much as 200 quid new. If, if I looked them up on Amazon, I think it was, 100 and, it was 160, something like that. Um, and I just felt if you're going to steal machine heads from a guitar, what are the chances of the guitar you're going to have is going to have a four and a two arrangement? It's like, so this, I think this is the first guitar I've ever had, and I've got 50 or something like that. It's actually the four and the two. Hmm, interesting. Oh, from, this is from a pal in the Philippines. Uh, Take a mortal man and put him in control. Oh, oh, oh. 
so if I was going to pitch this guitar to someone, it's not quite as heavy metal as it looks. Well, obviously I'm playing heavy metal on it there, but um, I've got a BC Rich War uh, Warlock for sale just now as well, and it is heavy metal, you know, for down tune, chunk chunk. This is a bit more classic rock sounding and playing, so you can hear the instrument. It does the slash thing and all that sort of stuff. It does do the metal as well, but it's not purely for metal. The Warlock I've got. Well, the reason I'm selling the Warlock is because it's just too heavy metal. I kind of like it a bit. I prefer, much prefer a guitar that's more classically voiced. So, really good condition. Um, no digs in the neck. All the frets work. Rosewood fretboard. Maple neck. It's got a scarf joint in it. Duh, duh, duh. Bolt on neck. Record cover. Not really any chips or dents in it. Right. So, buy this because I'm totally rooted. Mm. Cool headstock. <laughs>